Welcome back to Song of Horror. Last time we finished off episode 2, found Erica's father, who sadly hung himself to escape the encroaching darkness that was driving him mad. Daniel then brought the music box back to the previous owners, but the haunting melody is still with him. Let's continue with episode 3, A Twisted Trail. That had not been a nightmare. I was awake. For certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like... Like those described by father in his letter. Shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. But his whereabouts were still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents he was researching or delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husher, but this time. My life depended on it. Grace, a PhD student and Husher's mentee, and Professor Nasiri, one of his associates, gladly agreed to give us a hand with the search. They used to stay up late working in Husher's office, so that seemed like a good place to start. We had no idea how serious the situation was, if we'd known about his family. Those poor children. I hope we can at least find out what exactly he was after, and where he went. There are some papers on his desk that haven't been touched since he left. We have a good chance of finding something there. Lately, I feel like something odd has gotten into Professor Husher. I mean, apart from his usual oddities. He seemed anxious about something and... Looked like he hadn't slept properly in days. No offense, Mr. Noria, but it looks like it's the same for you. Don't worry, none taken. I'm well aware. This is his desk. As you can see, there are a bunch of documents he uses as research for his novels. It's all here. We better take a look at his computer and the shelves, too. The sooner we get started, the sooner we'll find something out. Look at this here. There are some notes where he mentions the music box, but I can't quite understand what he means. AA-375 is underlined. AA, uh, that's how the documents in the donations and biographies archive are designated. Maybe he was looking for something there. Biographies. Let's start with the archive then. Where is it? Donations and biographies are on the basement level. I'm sure it will be closed, but we can easily find the janitor or a key. It's not a very busy area. Um. I don't think we're doing that. If this, yeah, it's a level. Okay. Yeah, if this is a level, we're not finding the janitor alive. All right. So Daniel Neuer. Also, I just, it just hit me. His voice sounds familiar. All right. But here we have. Omar Nasiri, age 33, light source lighter. Omar, associate professor of State University of Arts and Humanities. He has a PhD in art history and is a former student of Sebastian P. Husher, with whom he works regularly in the field of education, has developed a certain friendship. A dedicated professor, an excellent motivator, Omar has developed a close personal and professional relationship with Grace Richards, a PhD student currently under the tutelage of Husher. Decent speed, stealth, not great strength or serenity, but he has reading glasses. I never miss a thing when I'm wearing these. Does that help point out objects to pick up? It might be useful. Grace Richards, age 29, wearing a nice jacket, light source torch, uh, eager to discover the world beyond her borders, Grace, who holds a master's in history, 
flew from the United States to Europe to complete her doctoral thesis and carry out research that was personally important to her, tutored by Professor, Professor Sebastian P. Husher, Grace is a brilliant student who was found in, who has found in Omar Nasiri, a fellow foreigner, a mentor and friend to whom she has clearly formed a bond of mutual understanding. Speed's meh, stealth is good, strength is not good, but she has really good serenity. Caffeine pills and energy boosts for an exam for exam time. You know what? I think I'm gonna go Grace because Serenity might help me. Oh, uh, let's take. Yeah, we'll take the tooth. I'll go take a look. You check out what else is in that notebook. Oh, her hand. Oh no, her hand. Her hand just went into like oh yeah no oh she broke her wrist but also she's used as a flashlight so that'd be nice 3rd of october 1998 a twisted trail history department archives i don't remember this place being so scary all right well we have let's start looking Academically speaking, these books hold no value. They're just here for appearance, appearances, in my opinion. I don't know how I will do it. I just need to see a water dispenser and I'm thirsty. Well, already, this is very creepy. Now, real quick. Okay, so she has caffeine pills, which she has three uses. Let's examine. They help me do everything quicker and better. I don't know when, where I'd be without them come exam time. And there's three pills remaining. Good luck with finals. Improves concentration and increase alertness. Return to the office empty handed, okay. Old copies of News World. I don't know why they're here and not in the newspaper archive. We got our first letter. Mr. Glover, I tried to give you back your access card, but I couldn't find you. I thought you were in the downstairs control room, but I see you're not. Anyway, I'm going away for a long weekend, and I'm not going to wait for you to turn up. We don't have as much free time as you. Go to the shelves of the subject, subject taught by Professor Dunn, from there, stand in front of the shelves that would contain my surname. Count as many shelves to the right as the size of Dunn's hat and look to the upper shelves. Don't mistake the professor's hat for mine. They're very different. In fact, I'll take mine own with me just to make sure. Goodbye and enjoy the long week. P.S. I'm not taking my hat in the end. Marino. Why? Oh, Marino. What a dick. Besides, he's got it in for Max. I was gonna say, why would you do it so cryptic? It's like, I found your key, I put it here. Nope. The snack machine is more popular than Omar would admit. These folders with files in them shouldn't be just be lying around here. They contain our personal details. The cleaning staff would normally leave a trolley in the way. Where have they gone to? These notes were made by the administra administrative staff. Don't contain anything useful. Nothing useful in the printer. Damn fax machine. All right, let's do this. I mean, I extremely doubt there's going to be anything right now. Yeah. Death. Oh, wait, oh, well, we got the pictures. <laughs> Give me a second. Nope, from Professor Moreno. All right, his surname, Joseph. Also, look at Moreno, my God, he's a dapper looking fellow. Okay. Let's 
top hat. Who does this hat belong to? Top hat, I see a label inside. Label says 100% felt size 8. Size 8 Joseph? No, that might be his hat. Let's not jump to conclusions yet. Joseph. Omar says I drink too much coffee. It's all right for him. He doesn't need to stay up till four in the morning studying. The newspaper from August. This is the hat. All right, so it is six. So we got six in Joseph. Sorry, okay. Six and Joseph. All right, one second. Okay. Surname? Joseph. Six. Okay. Six and Joseph. Um. Here, I'll open up Notepad, my computer. Just forgive me for a second. Notepad. There we go. Oh, let's close that. Okay. Hat size is six. Surname Joseph. Now, is it the right Joseph I just wrote? F. Yeah, Joseph. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, we have that. We just need the subject. Exactly done. Wait. Uh. Go to the shelves of the subject top by Professor Dunn. All right, let's figure out. Oh, I didn't. It's fine. All right, Professor Dunn, what do you teach? I'd sell my soul to the devil just to have half of Dunn's qualifications. Be careful what you wish for. Professor Dunn keeps all sorts of paperwork in here. I don't think it's any use to me. It's not normal to see the campus so dead at this time of night. I presume the renovation work has delayed the start of the term. Some lines of investigation to follow are noted here. Dunn is such a nice professor. He, all, he always lends me books when I come to his office. Okay, can you tell me what subject he teaches? I could hide under his desk, though it doesn't count for much. Oh, oops, wrong button. Oh, it does, sadly. What do you teach, Dunn? Oh, cool. Um, I am not seeing much. The monitor is very annoying, though, I'll tell you that. That sound. Why would you just leave it on when you leave, then again? Oh, wait, 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 you have something. That doesn't help me. Wednesday at 12.30 is an exam. Wait, Wednesday at 12.30 is exam. Okay, there might be an exam schedule. Wednesday, 12.30 exam. I'm gonna forget that. Wednesday, 12.30 exam. Marino. Give me a second. All right, sounds okay. All right. Wednesday, 12.30. Wednesday, 12.30. A couple of bottles of whiskey. I wouldn't be surprised if Marino had a good slug of that before drafting his exams. There's some student files here. I don't know what Marino would be doing with these. That bust is in a terrible state. Ooh, look at the model ship, though. If only Marino would spend half the time tidying his things that he spends on annoying other people. Oh, 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 there we go. Already? Lady, you gotta actually move. I am legit trying. She is really slow. 
Holy cow, game. You just threw that at me. Here we go. Round two is coming soon. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I'm not racist and kill the black person again. Like the first step. So Jesus Christ, my whole life just flashed before me. So right about now, you should put the pieces together. A, there's something wrong here. Maybe I should go back and tell the guys because that's not good. Mm. That tastes good. That's really good. Mm. All right. Um, was not actually expecting to get hunted yet. I was expecting for it to do its thing, and then the hunt starts, like, afterwards. No, this one, it's just throwing this at you right now. Uh, which I am shocked. Oh, wait, we have something. French? He teaches French? I wouldn't have known that. Okay, give me a second. Like, oh, wait, why am I pulling my phone now? I got a notepad open. Give me a second. He teaches, teaches French. All right, everyone, that's why you have a notepad. All right, we got it. That was the last detail I needed for whatever. Omar can save what he likes, but I think keeping bugs with pins stuck through them is a bit psycho. Not my thing either. Eh. Alright. We have all the details I need for whatever it is. Alright. Alright, so real quick. Alright, so French. From there, go in front of the shelves that will contain my surname, Joseph. Count as many shelves to the right. Six. Alright. French, Joseph, six. Weird name. You call me Joseph. French Joseph Smith. Six. Sorry, not Smith. And I take it the card opens this door. Yeah. Yep. Languages. Okay. Okay, so I want shelf I. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, it's languages, right? Not literature. Literature is something else. So he's on shelf I. Because it's an alphabetical order. So I would be... Okay, we're going to shelf I. Ignore everything. That's shelf T. Oh, let's move it a little. Gonna ignore... Oh, wait. Haha, <laughs> history! The Mad Hatter! Uh, I can take a guess who that is. Alright. Uh, nope. Yeah, she's not a fast runner, I'll tell you that now. Shelf J. Wait, nope, it will be here. Nope, now that I want it. Nope, don't, don't do that. I didn't mean to do that. No, I wanted this. Around I. 
Now find Joseph. I didn't think this one through. How am I supposed to know which one is Joseph? Yeah, she's a... to him, please. Let's just go to French and work my way from there. Alright, so here. It takes her so long to look too. Joseph would be held Yeah, here. Okay. Give me a second. Stand there in front of the shelves that contain my surname. Count as many shelves to the right. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. You. I mean, technically, okay, give me a second. From there, stand in front of the shelves that would contain my surname. Count as many shelves to the right as done have. I could just check every top shelf. Murray. Oh, history.
Ok. I get. Let me Google. Well, it, maybe I forgot what a surname was. Oh, well, forgive me. I thought it was the first name. It is not. It's the last name. So it'll be Moreno. Okay, you probably have yelled at me a bunch of times. I'm sorry. So I want M. So he teaches French. Give me a second. French from there. From the shelves that will contain my surname. So, French, but surname Marino, which would still be on shelf I. One second. I might be doing this all wrong. Let me try this one. I don't think I count six. If it's not in this one, I'll go to the next one. Ah, okay. Yep, I was one off. Very, very scared right now. It's the Jander Maxwell Glover, Glover's access key. It opens the cleaning room at the administration office. I got a feeling that whatever the new mechanic is, which we've done the silence, the next one's the abyss. You're sinking out quickly. Repeatedly press A, then try They'll try to catch you by your arms. To prevent this, press X and B at the right time. If you don't manage it, you'll have to free yourself by pressing the same button several times. All right, new mechanic. Remember, the first time the mechanic is shown, you can't die. Problem is, every single chapter that introduces a mechanic First time you can't die, so I'm all I'm always gonna pass it. But the second time it always happens, I lose somebody every time. I'm shocked I didn't lose Erica in the uh, <laughs> abyss down below. Let me tell you that. Ah, tastes good, man. Okay, we know where we have to go. I am literally just doing my best not to do it. I gotta do it. Stop being a pussy. Just go. Go, go. I need to listen. I don't see anything you need to pick up any of these tools. The sink is ridiculously small. I can't even, Im I can't imagine even filling a mop bucket up in here. Oh, slides. Set of slides are designed for the projector and the widescreen. I don't get what these pictures show. What? All right. Well, we got slides. Is that what I'm here for? What? What now? This is weird. Very weird. Q.
Even in Archives Administration Office, there's unclassified material strewn around. Oh. Ah, that's useless. Is most of this just gonna be me running back to the guys? Maxwell's recording. A voice of Maxwell, the history department janitor. I just saw something weird as fuck. I was out having a smoke because Miss Claire doesn't like me smoking near the books, even though the students do it all the time. When I came back, the slide machine had switched on by itself. Professor Usher once mentioned that the same thing had happened to him, so I thought it was just acting up again. I went to turn it off, and I saw there was a picture of the old archive door projected on the screen. Then, the door started to open. I couldn't look away, and when it opened a bit more, I could have sworn I saw the control room from downstairs. And not just that, there was someone in there, holding the release lever. It was me! I was in there! I, I pulled the cable, took the slides and got the hell out of there. That's all you want, but now... Oh, I'm scared to go back downstairs. I don't blame him. Locker's empty, I think I'll fit inside if I need a place to hide. Some more renovation left to- okay, so we immediately got a hiding place. Maxwell, where are you? It's weird not seeing you on the other side, smiling as always. I think Maxwell's gone. The d this door. The door from the slides. I could see myself behind it, and now it's real. I can open it. The image from the slides is the door i can get off the chain now i can get the, i can get the chain off but i'm going to need the key i need it to open in order to get out it's so dark but if i can get out maybe there's light out there Slides. All right. Power adapter. Okay. We need something else for that. We need the bolt cutters. How to get the bolt cutters is a good question. 
Oh, I have no idea how to keep this down. Just tie it. Oh. Really? Round two. Man, this one is not messing around, let me tell you. I have the heartbeat in the game down now, which is nice. Jesus Christ, my whole life just flashed before me. Listen, lady, get the hint. Leave. Is there anything I missed? There's not much I can do down here. Yep. Oh, really? That that was it? I got shears. Oh, I thought there were bolt cutters. Well, my uh my bad. What can I use shears with? Uh no idea. I can't think of anything for shears. I am honestly trying to think. I don't know. I mean, I doubt this is gonna work. It sounds stupid, but shears. Yeah, I thought so. I actually have an idea. What if I use these with this? No. This goes in the power supply. That cuts metal. Yeah, I can't think of anything at the moment that I need those four. I'm gonna temporarily take a break. I got home from work and all that, and I had a little time on my hands. I wanted to get a little of this in. So I'll be back momentarily for you. And I'm back. So it's been a couple days. Also, if I sound a little different, I adjusted my volume, my, not my filters and stuff in OBS for the microphone. I am gonna use this as a test. The old settings are saved still. I'm hoping I sound better. If not, I'll just delete these settings and put the original ones back on. Uh, what was I doing last time? Lever. Okay. Something about the lever. Alright. Uh, just so you know, I am barely remembering what I did last time. My goal... Okay, give me a second. If I need to hide that... Okay. 
Okay, I am back. I'm gonna turn the game down on my end just a little bit. Not sure. Okay, good. It doesn't turn down for you. All right, let's look around. Oh, so much for that. Okay, there's nothing. Oh, wait. No, I already did that. Yeah, okay. The door that is cracked open, I do not want to hold close. Understood. Yeah, I think I gotta go upstairs. Which if I go upstairs, the only hiding place is in the dun. And this go this level has been very active with the hunts. I've noticed. Yeah. Okay, hopefully, like I said, my audio is a little better for vocals. This is the first recording I'm doing after the adjustments, because all day I was mostly just... Uh, I finished work yesterday. Today's the first day of the weekend, and I went to the gym this morning and all that, and... Heartbeats. Banging. Uh, I went to the gym, did some stuff, went to the store, and then I just lazy all day and did nothing and then i started looking at older horror games for like ps2 and all that messed around with them uh then i messed with my obs microphone settings to see if i can improve it in some way because i have had comments saying your microphone could be better i know i know which is why hopefully right now i am a lot better Ooh, actually, the problem is I see myself peeking. So let me turn the volume down just a little bit on OBS. And I'm just talking, so let's turn that down a little bit. There we go. I can mess with the settings afterwards, but there we go. Damn it, I really want to go back. There's no reason to be here. I don't think there's a reason to be here. Remember, if we need to hide Dunn's office. Clean products ready to use. Yeah, because they, they recommend that you are in between the green and the red on OBS. You want to be in the orange. And right now, I am slightly going above in the red, which is sad ah you know what let me just go to my one filter real quick and i'll turn that down a bit do, 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 do. all right let me move that over there turn my volume back up all the way i want to mess with is it gain or right, i'm going to turn my volume down just a little bit right about there is that good i think we are golden now let me oh, i'm going to turn it down a little more right okay wait am i good that might be golden i'll, I'll turn up just a bit Hello, hello, hello. Okay. We'll do with that. And, uh, changing settings in real time. Hopefully my voice isn't too, too bad. We'll see. So I don't want to be in the red. I'm trying to avoid that. Alright, we're real quick. Alright. Right, I remember the music in this level is actually decent. Newspaper. August. Um, I honestly don't know where I'm going. I'm not gonna lie. I need something to hold the lever down downstairs, but I can't find whatever that item is. So, yeah. I see you, volume. Don't get too loud on me. Uh, yeah. No. Okay, um... I don't know where I'm going. Uh, 
Shouldn't have looked at it. Shouldn't have looked at it. I guess we're going back downstairs. Nowhere else I can go up here. Wait, so what? Where am I going? Right now it's 12.05 in the game. Hmm. On. Let's not lose a character. I'm doing this okay. Maybe I'll start editing out parts where I'm just wandering around doing nothing the entire time. Because, boy, I bet that's fun watching me be clueless for half an hour trying to find where to go. I'm trying. <laughs> Sometimes my brain no worky. Yeah, cause this door does not open. Sounds okay though. I have no idea what's on the other side. Lever's being held down somewhere. It's being held down there. I don't like you think maybe you could tie it down with a power adapter but no just saying tie it down with the power adapter and you're good to go <sighs> yeah there's just nothing else nothing I don't know where to go I've been everywhere I am missing something somewhere. Ooh, I hate that door close. It's, it doesn't close all the way, so you don't immediately get pushed into the next room. Hate it. And also this camera angle. Ooh, I don't like it. There's a hunt that's probably going to be happening soon. I'm expecting it. Modern archive. Maybe there's something around where the books are. Maybe. I still refuse to run, by the way. and all that is. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. That room's a dead end. This room's a dead end. If you're wondering why I keep coming back in here, it's not because I am uh, expecting anything new. It's mostly if a hunt happens, I have a table. I'm very careful. I've already lost, what, three characters in this game so far? I don't want to lose any more. I remember seeing this useless Marino with a similar notebook. Oh, that similar Marino. Maybe it's his. It won't take, but it won't be me that takes it to his office. 
think Marino made these notes. They don't help me. Got all these boxes on the floor. What happened to you? Did I not come down here before? Oh no, I don't think I did because I was busy doing the puzzle up there. I mean, there's nothing down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving the flashlight around trying to look. But yeah, there's nothing down here, which is a shame. <laughs> I have a cough this past day. Really hope it doesn't lead to anything. Life. Oh, no, no. Back up the stairs, young man. Slide projector. Almost all the professors use them. Professor Husher usually smokes. Man, okay. Okay, uh, we have the slides. I'm... Oh. Wait, really? Is this one? Progress! Okay, I got this working. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Uh, no. Oh, wait, sorry. What's going on here? I don't know. Give me a sec. these slides? Ooh, this one has a key. Wait, can I not put it back? Oh. Oh, you want the door, right? So door. Uh, no idea what that is. No idea what darkness radio. Okay, no, it's wrong. Start with door. I don't know what I'm doing. And that is not a joke. Um, I need to somehow end up with that key in his hand. He's pointing at the locked door. Uh, Alright, let's check. That looks fine, that looks fine, but that's not fine. All right, so this has to go. All right, let's check. No. So that'd be this one. We'll make the key the last one. Nope. Oh, wait, maybe I was right. One second. Damn. Yes, the door's still locked. I know. It's weird. He has a key. Okay. We need that key. Do all these line up with something? I don't like that at all. Um, he's gone. I got feel when I back out, he's going to be there.
Okay, he's not there. Okay. I am not liking my mic right now. It's still peaking a bit. All right, hopefully that behaves. No promises though. Yeah, but right now I am absolutely terrified that thing. Come on. Door has to be first. <laughs> I'm thinking you're last. Music box. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. Let's uh swap a couple of these maybe. No, 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 no. Maybe I'm close. Uh swap with you with the music box. Remember, he said the key he could grab. I wonder... This is something I remember. I can get the chain off. I can, yeah. No, oh, okay. Too good to be true. Sadly. This is what I'm feeling good about. Yes. The door's open. This reminds me of, uh... No, I'm pausing because I want to explain. I played Silent Hill Downpour when it came out on Xbox 360. It was a good game. Um, this reminds me of the... Theater puzzle. The movie theater. Where you're moving all these reels to different positions and you're trying to make a house and a bunch of other things to make a level. That's what this is reminding me of. Okay. Um, you can go in there. I I can't believe it. Neither can I. Well, the note said he can go up and jingle. I don't like this place. Is this... Is this real? Where am I? The walls have faces. Oh, okay, we got a handsaw. Oh my... Oh, well, we're immediately using the handsaw. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, look at the ring. <laughs> oh, that's a wang wing on the finger. Yes. What have I done? I can't believe this is happening. Neither can I. Give me a second. Go back. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Examine. No, 
Wait, well, can, give me a second. Yay! I got the wedding ring. What am I using it for? I have no idea. Let's get out of here. Jump scare? Jump scare. No, no jump scare. Alright, uh, real quick. Oh, hey, the flashlight works now. What's that do for me? I got an arm. Missing a finger. It's rigid. Uh, go on stairs with it? I didn't expect to be... I didn't know there was a projector here, Mr. I looked everywhere. They're keeping the camera over here way too long. Something's gonna be here. I lied. Other way. like poltergeists. I think that's what those are. Poltergeist activities. They're not that bad. I haven't died to one yet, but yet is a keyword there I would use. Might as well check the door. You never know. I like the way it sounds. Death. <laughs> Alright, here's the thing. That weird puppet thing is technically supposed to be over here. I wonder. Oh. What was the puppet thing doing? Holding down what looked like a switch. So... Maybe rigor mortis will help me. Oh, I didn't expect that to be the solution to the puzzle, but there we are. I wonder if I could use the shears. <laughs> uh, caffeine pill. What do you do? I'll have to look it up. I think they do something. Alright, let's figure it out, though. I like the sounds behind this door. Oh, yeah, so a couple of uh, games I was trying out in the PS2. One of them is not a horror game. I swear, if I can't find anything... It's fine, we'll try. Uh, so one of them, which I really wouldn't call a horror game, is Michigan Report from Hell. Another one was Echo Knights. Yeah. I don't like the way this place looks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel like this is a very bad place. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, game, you know how I get my blood pumping. Check. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. 
nothing here. I'm damned if I know why I'm still searching, but I won't leave for- Yeah, I, I don't know either. You have guts, ma'am. I would have ran away first chance I got. Wait, give me a second. So if it hunts, I have running to do, and I'm immediately popping a caffeine pill. Because I don't know if she will make it. Because she is slow. You guys might not know this. Her response time with running, I'm holding it. There's like a two second delay. Like, watch. I'm going to hold the run button now. That is how long it takes her to get charged up. On top of that, you can't control her very well when she's running. Every character is different. She controls the worst when running. She's great with Serenity and all that. Not running. I think I want this. Europeans, great and small. Compilation of biographies of prominent members of society. Volume X5717. The House of Le Grant. The House of Le Grant, which layer form, a layer merged with the House of Armsburg. Volume. I forgot what C stands for. Uh, probably. Uh, and its ups and downs over the years, the rise and the fall of the Industrial Empire and the squandering of a legacy by Ag Argos Legrand, last heir of the huge family fortune, who spent his life obsessed with investigation, investigating the paranormal, make this one of the most thrilling volumes of the collection. Okay. When it says, got it, let's get out of here fast. What do you think is going to be the first thing that happens when I try to leave this room? I knew it. sinking go yep 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 okay okay this is the tutorial knew it was coming the lights were going out you're sinking get out here quickly as you can to escape or peel the cap a then they'll try and catch up catch you by the arms to prevent you x or b at the right time okay oh i got out of there quickly Um, I'm really good at mashing buttons, everybody. I don't think you know that. <laughs> and that's where I would call it at night. Go home and sleep with the lights on. Oh, wait. Ooh, I'm gonna run. This might be safe. Yep, there they are. Guys, uh, we got bad news. This might have something to do with Husher's investigation. Oh, dude, you look rough. Let's see. Hmm. It's a book about Argos Le Grant. A biography, or a collection of articles about him, I think. He apparently spent part of his life traveling the world in search of odd, rare events. Rich people stuff. I don't know. The biography suddenly ends right after his last journey. It says here, he returned without his equipment, without the huge amount of money he wasted on the project. And with a simple memento of the music he brought home to his little girls, eight-year-old Elaine and newborn Ariadne. Oh, no. And here's a note from Hasha that says, See the archives, events newspaper. Is there a newspaper archive over here? I guess so. Do I get to choose another character, or are we going right to it with her? That'd be cool if you could change characters. But, oh, you can. Sweet. Daniel. No. 
This time it's your turn, Omar. Dang it, you were a badass and I'm glad you didn't die. It's Omar's turn. Good, you have good speed and stealth. Uh, we are carrying the tooth again. Let me go. I know the place. You keep searching this area. You can tell this game's a little indie with the mouth movements and all that, but it's still a really good game, and I absolutely hate it. They have the horror down. I feel on edge. I'm always uncomfortable. That is a good horror game. History Department Newspaper Archive. Technically, I could have called it there. Omar, I like your jacket. I need to get a jacket like that when I thin out a bit more. I actually I have to find the newspaper Sebastian consulted. I have a problem right now, and actually it just hit me. Why didn't she tell them the darkness is here? Because Daniel and everyone would have been, oh yeah, oh that's not good. Instead, she's like, I found the book. Let's read it. Instead, she didn't once mention, hey, there is an evil lurking in this place, and it almost got me a few times. Oh. I'm just saying. Also, give me a second. Um, How long was my original recording? 39 minutes? Oh. We're about to hit an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. The results of June's exams are still pinned up. Alright. Man, I don't want you to die. You also seem cool. I mean, it'd be a shame if it was immediately just bad news behind this door. It's like, no, no, we're immediately taking one of your characters, whether you're like it or not. Let's go. Oh my god, this is a big area. Okay, we're immediately going to this store. Alright, let's go. I have to find a hiding place. That just hit me. Northern Adver Advisor... I... I'm gonna stop looking at these because I think it's useless until I absolutely need something here. I need to find a hiding place real quickly. That just hit me. All this is useless. I don't know why I'm here, but at least now we know we can come in here. Also, give me a second. What do you come in with? It's a passive. I can't believe how awful my near vision is. Thank goodness I always carry these. So... What's it do? Give you better vision? You can see things farther? Because maybe I'm noticing that? Which, hey, if that's what it's doing. Sweet. Uh, we need to find a hiding place, though. That just hit me. Hiding place pronto. No ifs and or buts. And here's the thing. I don't know how long this uh, part is going to be. Fire alarm button. I must avoid pressing it. I would be. Yeah, okay. Um, no one in the security office either. Almost. Oh, the secretary's office sensor is on. Okay. Once again, I'm. I need to find a hiding spot. I do not feel safe. Until I find at least one hiding spot. Yes, big room. I can't paint. It's dry. Uh huh. I bought the secretary flowers today. She wasn't there. Nobody was. Where'd everyone go? The whole crew was supposed to be here today to paint. If this is a joke, I don't think it's funny. I'm not painting by myself. I'm gonna sit here and bum out bum around until the joke is over. If you're not here by then, I'm 
I, sorry, I'm out of here. You can tell the boss if you want. Tell him why you think it's funny for all of you to disappear just because I have, half, I, I was half an hour late. See you. It's not funny. Serious, not. Turn on the lights. Please turn on the lights. Please. I hear breathing and absolutely hate it. We got dried red paint. I don't know what I'm using that for. So that guy just sat in there. I would have left, but I'm sorry. If you think it was a joke, fine. It's one of those times where this isn't a joke. Run. I'm not going to look at that. I got a feeling looking at that is just bad. No way. These notes are by the professors of the modern history department. The last meeting I know they held here was about almost two months ago. I'm not looking at the projector slide or whatever's up there because bad things, probably bad things. We're getting somewhere. Still no hiding places unless it can't hunt you that way in this level. This table? No. There's something on the table. Yes. Oh, that scared me. Okay. It's a pen. It's got a sharp point, but I think it's out of lead. Okay. We got a hiding space, everybody. I can stop freaking out. The problem is his serenity isn't oh you I know what that looks like a body. The torso and the head, but it's a like bald cat. Ooh, you cheeky buggers, you got me over that. I thought that was a head. Mmm. They knew what they were doing when they placed that there. I hear that. I don't like Oh, can you hide in there? Oh, no. More books. We'll go up one more. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible because that new mechanic doesn't seem bad. No. All right, Maxwell has the keys. again maxwell so that must be the same door we're at the end of the hallway no facility can be without junk food machine got grace loves it, of course don't open that door everybody it's been a while since this mechanic does something that door is evil Now, uh -huh. Ooh. where did they come from? Where were they taking me? That's the thing, we don't know where they're taking. Okay, so. That mechanic isn't that bad. That one I like. Okay, that one isn't bad. That one I'm not going to get someone killed on, probably. That one isn't that bad. Hmm. Fuck you, Moreno. Wow, I see the professor is as popular as ever among the art history students. I think I know who did it. A paint roller. A sponge roller used to paint walls and ceilings. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness the sponge didn't go hard. In fact, it's still a bit wet. At least the emergency exit isn't blocked. If it weren't for Grace coming to search for me and Sebastian, I'd get out of here quick. All right, so emergency exit's right there. All right, remember, we have a hiding place 
in that room right there. A bit far? Mm, no. Wait, uh, they hunted me. Does that mean... Also, I'm curious. I extremely doubt. Combine. Mm -mm. Yeah, paint's dry. You gotta wet the paint. But even then, if you wet the paint, it's not gonna completely come back the way it was originally. Now, since they hunted me, does that mean that door is available? No. It actually does not mean that. All right, so that door is off limits until I find some type of progression. That door's locked, that door's locked, doesn't exist. That room's a thing. I can go down here where I was originally trying to go where those two doors are. But yeah, that door is a no-go. If I get hunted, I have to go to the break room. Remember that, the break room. These newspapers should be available on microfilm by now. Oh, please don't make me do microfilm. Where are all those? What are these notes? They look like random words. Well, that's reporter for you. Oh, wait. Okay, we have one spot over here. So I have to run all the way back to the break room. Bash would never use a computer. I don't think he'd even know how to turn it on. Also, I saw that on the monitor while the thing was freaking out, a face popped up. You can try and go back and pause it. It's right before it turned it off. I wouldn't mind opening a window to get some air in here, but I've got more important things. Also, do we even... You know, personally, I would immediately crawl out of the window and run. Paper scouted about everywhere, and the computer seems broken. Without help, I won't be able to move these boxes in a million years. So we're going down here. Have I been in here? No, because I can listen to the door. The silence is deafening. That's a good thing. All right, quick. Never mind. We got three, two doors. My bad. Mm -mm. Been blocked with a chain. Okay. Female's bathroom. Bathroom. Nasiri, are you okay? Can you get out? No, 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 no. I can't get out. My flashlight is out of batteries. I need batteries. I don't have batteries. All right. I'll try to help you with this. He needs batteries. I think I know who did this. I hope they stopped their nonsense. All right, this guy needs batteries for a flashlight. Hey guys. Is 
to ask if he had batteries. For God's sake, that's disgusting. It's the first time the train's being blocked. My plate's gonna stop for overflowing. Gonna, um, leave. I don't want to be in the men's bathroom anymore. Okay. When my heart is racing in the game, not me. About <laughs> um. We need to do something about the sensor up there because he keeps men. So he mentioned that. Oh! Oh, 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 I know what we're gonna do. Okay. We are gonna wet the paint, paint over the sensor, so it can't see us anymore. Hmm. Problem is, it's... Like I said, I think we're gonna paint over the sensor. What are we using the pen for? Though? Hmm. It has a sharp point. I cannot think of something that the pen is gonna go for yet. I have a feeling there's gonna be someone in the hallway. No. Okay. Remember, that desk. We're gonna go paint over this sensor. That desk. Also, I'm gonna check that door. Yeah, I haven't been through this one yet. No. Darn. Hey, I think a key would do. Okay. Paint! Oh, my bad. Dude, did it? Yeah! Mm -hmm. I knew I was right about this, by the way. At least no one can tell me off here. I'm a genius. I should be able to get into the set. Oh! What? What happened? <gasps> no, we're not going in the secretary's office. Break room. Remember, break room. If it hunts, break room. The funny thing is. That room is nice and bright. It's what's behind the door that matters. That means this door is open. Never mind. Nowhere is safe. Both those doors are evil. Very evil. Do I have batteries? No. We had to wait. 
don't think okay yeah I swear it sounded awful but now it's fine Night plastic hmm. key. Key belongs to a drawer that covered somewhere. It doesn't open the door. Everything looks fine. It was dropped in a rush. I'm waiting for a person to appear on the other side just to get me. Nobody picked up this fax. It's been here for weeks. Alright, time to read. <sighs> Department. News. Paper Archives Secretary's Office, date 17th August, named Jill. Room A, Professor West. Room B, Professor Husher. Room C, empty. Incidents, comments. Becca, read this as soon as you see it. Professor Husher is acting weird. He wanders around the archive all day, lost in thought. It's odd, even for him. He barely even answers me. Sometimes he carries a music box. He winds up every now and then. Mr. Spencer has taken him to task several times, and whenever he does that, it looks as if Husher has just woken up. Then he goes back to his office and spends hours holed up in there. Chris says he does uh, says the same at night, if not worse. We think he slept in his, his office because no one has seen... Oh, that doesn't help. Nobody has seen him leave, and William says he heard strange noises that sound like screams. But when he check, went to check, no one was there. Today, he was he asked me about the Northern Advisor Archives, a small newspaper from the godforsaken little town from 1913. What in hell would be looking for there? If you notice anything really weird, call security. No one has seen Max for days, and something tells me that before the holidays are over, something is going to happen. The best feel. Okay, 1913. Okay, if it hunts, I gotta run to the break room, which is uh, a few doors away. Oh, I'm expecting. What is this? What is it? I just gotta do it. This is so weird. What was that? That was weird. There we go. I was trying to listen to the door. All right. 1913. Right. Give me a second. Northern Advisor, 1913. So, no. Northern Advisor, still no. New World, not what I want. New World. They are really trying right now. Okay. One second. New Northern Advertisers, 1913. No. No. So be over here. 
Nope, one more. Oh, this one. Yep, okay, good. He opened the drawer, I'm taking the microfitch with me. Oh, no. Give me a second. We just did something big, which means something's probably about to happen. Hide there. Come to think of it. There's a few mini games I haven't done in a while I don't want to talk about because something bad is probably about to happen. Where are we using the microfilm? Um, we need batteries for you. We haven't been able to go through that doorway because of the noise. Uh, security office, I guess. Oh, I'm so waiting for someone to show up in there. One of the mini games I haven't seen in a while. I managed to close it. Praise be to God. Praise be to God, indeed. I take it we're not going here. Let's check that other door. Wait, what? I mean, I'd be very worried if both doors were like. <laughs> Remember, break room. Kitchen, where am I call it? Are you ready to be opened? Yes. No. No, you're not. Let's check, see if they're gone now. They moved on. What am I doing here? It's unbelievable that we use Maxwell's room as a junk room. The poor man has the patience of a saint. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh, I know what we're doing. Batteries? Uh-huh. Wait. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. What did that say? Batteries. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's stuck. Hey, wait. Yeah. Remember, if he hunts, break room. Or worse, or better, the desk. Which is on the way. Right now, it's going on four. I mean, I'd be worried if this room was gobbledygook. Don't know if you're still alive, but I got batteries. Maxwell, I got your batteries. Oh, thanks. It's so dark in here. So dark. Keychain. Oh, thanks, man. Hmm. Well, are you there? 
You know, for the better of my sanity, I'm not gonna look. second mm -hmm. Ooh, good music these pulls look like the one Sebastian or looks like a fallout uh computer <gasps> oh no it's microfilm one second This is the problem is uh we know the year 1913 so we'll do that right. problem is i don't know the month or the year so i can't do that yet really i know it's 1913 it's a small town i just don't know the year. Damn it. Oh, that could have hit me in the head. Sebastian was here. Do you leave those rolls of film on the floor? Oh, one. Oh, no. Oh, my God. get me didn't get me Professor Lowerly normally uses this office. Students can't stand her. Grace included. Nothing in here. That piques my interest. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be whatever that door is. As long as it has a day, I can do the months. Oh wait, then there's that locker in that one place. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
we got a note. Uh huh. Legrant Armsburg, wealthy but fallen hard times during the 20th century. What happened? Death of Argos Legrant. Check records, investigate the family past and present. Heirs, distant relatives. I have to find out about his life. Also, his death. 17th of March. Dark paintings. Very much Sebastian style. Alright. We know. We have what we need. Break rooms across the hall if I need. We have a lot of things going on. Seventeenth of March. Okay. Seventeenth of March, nineteen thirteen. <gasps> The year it was in the 1913 section doesn't mean one second. Yeah, from 1913. 1913, 17th of March. 17th, January, February, March. 1913, the 7th, yeah. Oh. That wasn't done correctly, was it? second I'm looking I think this is it left side it has pictures of people no this one I'm gonna keep printing them all, everybody. So I get the correct one. No? Oh wait, we got something. Legrant Armsburg family dies. Argos Legrant, the Legrant family heir and owner of the business conglomerate LGA Inc., has died in mysterious circumstance, along with his wife and his elder daughter, who was eight years old. The events took place late last night in the family's holiday home, where they were spent some time in the spring after a well-known magnet. Had, yeah, well-known magnet had been on a trip, although the authorities have said very little about the public statement. 
uh, their public statements and the lines of their investigation are open. The strongest theory so far is that the family has been the victim of a violent robbery, robbery with the only survivor being the youngest daughter, Ariande, who is safe and sound of terror police officers. Get out of here, I guess. They're going to come for me. Oh, wait, what? I used those finally? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So if I didn't pick those up, he would just die there? There's something here. A note from a certain that would have been a that says, very unfortunate. Professor Husha, remember to pick up your typewriter and the rest of your belongings from the library desk. This is the university library. If you need your own space, you can use your office. If Husha left documents in there, it may be worth taking a peek too. I think this is part of what Husha was investigating. Let me see. Oh God, did you read that? Argos Legrand, heir to the Legrand family and owner of the LGA Incorporated business conglomerate, has died under mysterious circumstances along with his wife and eight-year-old daughter. It occurred last night at the family's holiday home, where they were spending part of the spring after the famous magnate's most recent trip. While police remain open-minded in their official statements, and maintain that all lines of inquiry remain open. Popular theories suggest that the family fell victim to a violent robbery, leaving the younger daughter, Ariadne, the sole survivor. She is currently safe in police custody. Oh my god, they're all dead. This is a dead end. Husha left some documents at the library. Maybe there's something there. It's all that's left to check. So, are we at the end of the chapter? Is the library the ending? If so, I can just do all this in one go, baby! Daniel! No! Omar! You almost died, but you made it out. Grace, you're doing good. I'm gonna pause it for a second. All right, everybody. So this is uh, the thing is, I don't know how long the ending of this event is gonna be. By the looks of it, I might be at the end. And if so, I will include next time on this video and I'll just do this entire episode in one episode. But until then, uh, well, I'll see ya. I'm not gonna say see you next time in case, but if so, Oh, go here. Whoops. Welcome back, maybe, to Song of Horror. So, looks like we're, might we, it looks like we might be at the end of this uh, chapter, so. Like I said or originally, I might put this, you know, with the other episode. But um, ahead of time, I watched the episode back to me, or a couple of bits of it, and uh, yeah, the audio was not good. And I have to apologize for that. Like I said, it was a test. So yeah, it should be normal. Uh, I'm gonna go back with um, him. For he also my audio is peaking a bit here and there but yeah should be fine uh omar i'm gonna go back as omar once again let's bring that let me go i know the place you keep searching this area all uh, right let's see if this is the end or what else it could be
the Grand Library. Copy of Northern, okay. Just because it looks calm does not mean anything for me, I hate to say. Boy, I could use these computers and access the library records. Maybe hush your luck this year, although I don't see anything useful in these notes. Books in the occult in esotericism. It esotericism must be Sebastian nice statue I'll never understand how they think anyone could work anything out of this messy bunch of scribbles two ancient copies of the Quran when I see them I feel bad that I'm not really practicing especially now oh Okay. What's going on here? Oh! <sighs> That's not right. I'm looking down at my OBS to make sure everything's good. Oh my god! What was that? I think there's more to this library than it seems. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's not good. There's music. Okay. Is that safe to use? I'm alive, so yes. We're here for the camera. Don't dally too long. We're here for the camera. Where was it? I need the damn camera. Oh, wait. Yeah? A poor quality photocopy about Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten. In which Aten was typically depicted as, a, as the sun disk emanating a radial series of arms ending in hands. Each hand held an ak, a symbol of life, and collecting, collected offerings. Although no anthropomorphic images, otherwise common in Egyptian mythology, have been preserved, some of the sun disk depictions have been... As part of the religious revolution, not only did Octen get rid of all the such humanoid depictions, he also created, according to many Egypt's, Egyptologists, the first monoth 
theistic religion. He named the pharaoh as the god's sole repre representative on earth, thus disbanding and discrediting the priesthood. Although all these changes could be explained as a consequence of the turbulent political situation of that time, the truth is that there are gaps in the understanding which scholars have not overlooked. For instance, no one knows why Akten suddenly decided to transform the way temples have been until then, closed dark where the con concealment of the divine was paramount, into expansive open-air temples where good lighting was the most important thing. There are strange depictions where Akten Aten is replaced, or perhaps opposed, by a dark anthropomorphic figure also emanating by uh, emanating a radial series of arms, but whose hands Octon would not appear. Sometimes these radial elements are, are, are oh this darkness is older than we all thought. It seems unreal. I've spent so much time in here reading, and now this place has turned into a nightmare. I'm afraid I'm gonna walk into something, it's gonna suck. Alright, we're near the stairs, if that means anything. Oh, it's blocked. Oh. All right. I think. Do I want to go this way or that? It's fine. It's fine. We got this. That has to be Sebastian's desk. I'm close. Mm -hmm. An old volume that tells the story of the investigations carried out by Legrand and his companions. Sinister nature. Interesting. Damn it. Um. Art. Do you. you He just there was another book about Argos Legrand in the library, a compilation of research trips written by two of his associates in the early 1900s. Sinister Nature was a kind of narration of Legrand's frustrated trips in search of paranormal phenomena, with one of the last pages marked by Husha, the cursed counts at St. Cecilia's Abbey. St. Cecilia, the patron saint of music, I'm not sure what Husha wanted when he set out in Legrand's footsteps, or how long he planned on doing it. But it was a start. The best place to start looking. Before it gets too late. The day before. I think this would be the end of the chapter then. Wait, who am I playing if this is the day before? Oh, give me a second. Okay, um... 
This is interesting. If I'm going to be Sebastian P. Husher... Interesting. I'm trying to make sure my volume is good. It's just being weird. Okay, give me a second. I'm sure I'm actually back on the game. I got a thing going in blend, uh, my Blender right now. Sebastian P. Husher... Age 54, light source light. Also, I'm shocked I did that in my first try. An eccentric character with traditional taste, Husher is a prolific writer of historical fiction who's com who combines literary, cr literary creation with a prof professional ship at the State University of Arts and Humanities. He is used to traveling all over the world, investigating little-known events that provide the inspiration for his future works. However, this most recent journey has turned out to be very different from the rest. Sarandi's speed and strength are awful, but he has good stealth. He's the only character I can play. Isaac, my dear friend, you don't know what you've done with that cursed music box. By the time you tried to warn me, we had all heard the music. Now, I find myself trapped in a tragic race against time. I had a hunch. I thought that perhaps by returning the box to you... Damn it, I've been such a fool. I lied, Isaac. I'm sorry. I just need you to hold on while I find a way to make things right. He's dead. I left the house without telling Catherine. How could I possibly explain something like this? I thought she'd never believe me. And I was wrong, but now it's too late. I only hope you're all safe, and that you will find a way to forgive me. I must put an end to this once and for all, for my family, for you, and for my own sake. Argos Legrant, everything revolves around that name. He was the person who had the box crafted and picked out the melody. I know he died in 1913. Newspapers of the day reported a violent burglary in his home. Everyone died, save for Ariadne, who was just a baby at the time. The case was closed, but something just doesn't add up. The police investigation was far too short-lived, and the bodies were not buried, but incinerated. I believe... I believe they were trying to hide the truth. I discovered that the book Natura Tenebrosa was written by two of Legrand's collaborators, the same two who followed him across Europe, researching all matter of ridiculous legends, all equally far-fetched. The last case in the book speaks of Legrand's last journey, on which he embarked just before making the music box. I've followed in his footsteps for weeks now, visiting every place, following every lead about that melody. Alas, I have reached the last leg of this journey, in the north. I find myself among the deserted ruins of St. Cecilia's Abbey, now covered in snow. Here, in 1912, the annual concert in honor of the patron saint of music was held. Legrand was not there at the time, but he came to investigate soon after. Every single person who attended that concert died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances, and the Abbey has been abandoned ever since. The connection is clear. I know there must be something here, a clue I can pursue. If not, I don't dare think about the future. I can barely distinguish what's real from what's not. Something is watching me, following me, drawing closer and closer by the day. The melody still haunts me. Its notes echo constantly in my head. With each passing minute, they sound more ghastly and foreign. I see darkness all around me, and shadows lurking in the corners. I see my world merging with something else. I see another place. The black figure. I feel it's... it's here with me. So, Legrant found probably music sheets. Is this the end? <laughs> no. Uh, he found music sheets. And he probably had that made in the music box. And yeah, interlude, this is the end. 
of this chapter. I'm just gonna do this. Time to move. I have to find it. All right, well, we have a fountain. Personal passive. I still have many books to write. Well, I have my fountain pen. I know I would love to live the telltale. No map available. Damn, the door must have closed before I, when I left the room. There's a small crack. Finally, I have some tool to stick in there. Okay, is he able to die? The drip has been, the drip has filled up the basin. There's all kinds of filth washed down from the roof. The stairs must have collapsed ages ago. I need to find another way to get up the balcony. He doesn't have the listen prompt. Never mind, he does. Alright, if I die with a grant, do I have to redo this entire chapter because permadeath's on? The water in those buckets stinks like a sewer. I can only imagine it's imagine it's healthy to even oh, oh yeah. It hasn't worked. The water isn't gonna go through here. Pipes are leaking everywhere, and it's almost eaten through with rust. Wait, what? A foul sp Oh, that's not a hiding place. He's just saying a foul-smelling, dripping liquids on it. It's still snowing. I hope it stops soon, or getting out of here will be even more difficult than it was getting in. I like your hat. I'm not gonna lie. Now, I'm worried he can die, because if he can die, I have to redo everything if it counts. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know if he can die or not. Ancient Amor Amphorae. Like the ones Catherine put in the garden. I wonder if she in the kid. <laughs> no. The air is buzzing with flies and a sickly stench. This is the bathroom. It smells worse than it looks, if that's possible. It looks like there's something down there blocking the main drain. There's a layer of damp and decay on every single surface in this room. The plumbing system is extremely complicated for just a few toilets. You know what, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna check the other rooms. If I get desperate, I'll come back. I don't know if he's dead dead, and if he's dead dead, I have to redo everything. This also is in Silent Hill. Oh, it's locked. Oh wait, I had a flick. Th I have had a flick through those books before, but there wasn't anything useful. They almost fall apart with the exposure to the elements. Oh yeah, no, that would destroy them, especially for this long. I don't know how long. It's taken more than two hours to remove one of those floorboards. There's no way I'm getting. Um, yeah, okay, that's gonna be something later. Locked. It's a bit shabby, so I can't open it without a key. Nope. All right. I'm saying this now. If I lose that fountain pen, he is deemed as dead. Uh oh. Didn't know I was becoming a pimp. Door is locked. It's too strong to burst open. Let's not do this. I'm gonna lose track of where I am. There is no map for this area, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. Once again, locked.
Nope. Ignore that. Uh oh. All right, we have first door. Who is lighting fires in this place? What a relief it is to have a light to the brazier. Nothing happened. An old set of bellows. I don't think I can use them for anything right now. The wooden table is rotten from the damp room. It looks like it's about to fall to pieces. Some old wretched clay vessels. Nothing happened. The water isn't running through these pipes. Do I still have the hoe? I do not. So I need something from this room. the bellows not that really nothing I guess we're reaching a toilet everybody Hate to say it, but you think he'd bring, I don't know, if he knew he was being hunted and was doing all this and that, he'd at least bring a better light source and then a lighter? No. It's impossible to open without the key. I wish I had a map. Oh wait, there's an upstairs. I hate to say it. I'm, ha I'm having thoughts that I don't think Sebastian P. Usher is making out this chapter alive no matter what. I think he is destined to die. We're, he's gonna come across something, and then we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn what that is in the future, but he is gonna die for whatever information he is about to obtain. Lock's gonna get to, oh, wow. This place must have, ooh, yeah. The hour pane of glass is broken. The cold air is coming through between the boards. The store wasn't here before, was it? I swear I would have opened it if the door was here before. Most of these natural remedies expired before I was even born. From what I can make out through the folds of the sheets, those remains have been here for decades. Oh, that's a, yeah, 100% person. Some of these pharmaceutical books must be real gems, but they're not gonna help me right now. That is true. Yeah, I think he's destined to die in this uh, prelude. Also, who is lighting all these fires? I appreciate it, but still. Dirty dishes just left there. I wonder how long they've been here. 
The book, this bookcase doesn't seem to be fixed like the others, and the corners are worn down. Plants still grown from a uh, plant growing in these cans. There are a few utensils on the table. There are a few utensils, yep. I'm thinking pressing the spring, but there's not enough getting the. Oh, okay. That is extremely quiet, I hate to say. Alright, we have a goal in mind. Pushing enough water through the pipes to get that to move. The music here is haunting. That door's locked, right. Now, the question is, that so far as nowhere to hide, if it was to hunt, I'm just screwed. Just saying. There we go. We got one. Now water's run through this pipe. I have to make sure to open all the water valves. Okay, I have it. We have a quest. Open up the wall. Okay. In the future, that table's going to be a hiding spot. 100%. Let's stick my hand down there. I don't think I'll need anything so disgusting. Well, we removed whatever's in the toilet. here for the pipes there's not well just be known i unclogged the toilet got feel that objects can be in the, right there for a future character i got a feeling husher like i said is not making it past this chapter There's one more valve, I believe. Just gotta look for it. I think. Maybe we're good? fountain pen
Man, can be hell. Also, I was looking behind me because the way my blankets and my bed are at the moment, or my jacket is behind me, it looked like a person. I'm like, ah, it's a black jacket. Okay. All right, Husher, what are you gonna- What's this? Someone died there. Remarks made by the prior. Notes written by Father Malchius, prior of the Saint Celsius Abbey, about the monk's behavior. Some days ago now, I observed the brothers performing a strange ritual. They took turns to sit down from a mirror and, facing it, lit the lamp and then put it out. This shall remain as written testimony of everything that has been discovered and that has been passed on to me as it may prove valuable to whomever, whomever finds it. Seeing it from a mirror, they observe their own reflection, everything behind them. They then proceed to put the lamp out or dim the dim its flame to the point that the eyes blind, point that the eyes blinded by the previous glow no longer see. Thereupon, they alight it once more and again observe their reflections and everything behind them, repeating the process several times. And sometimes, God help us, the reflection shows in the mirror isn't what it should have, should be. I cannot begin to describe the horrors that appear. The mere act of commit, committing them to paper is an insult to our Lord. But what can I say is that, uh, say is that more frequently these horrors appear, the closer they are, and the less time we have until, until they no longer they're no longer in the reflection. I hope, I hope he can't get it open. Oh, this is where Daniel was. The mirror's broken, but you can still see parts of the room reflected in the shards, like a bizarre mosaic. Yeah, I don't think he's making out of this alive. He's where Daniel was, in a way. Oh, wait. The scribblings of a desperate monk. Oh, wait. Desperate monk. Desperate like me. Oh, man. I don't think you're going to write any more books. The door's jammed. God, how awful. How many bodies are up in there? The wall has been furiously covered in crosses. I understand desperation that leads to that. Better than I'd like. Yeah, this room isn't safe. Jesus ain't saving you. I think all the crosses say that. There are crosses everywhere. So I made sure no one can get through the cell or out of it. This works. Let's see how much I have left. Oh, this is it. Oh, he's doing it. Here we go. And jump scare. Nope, rules of three, everybody. I'm definitely gonna look at the screen, don't worry. Yep, you hear it. Oh. Oh. You didn't turn the lantern back on. 
to be continued right in the face okay this is being combined with the last episode and chapter three will be one full episode that one went swimmingly i didn't tell anybody this time audio was a bit funky which i have to apologize for i was testing new settings now we're back on the old settings and i'm peaking again so i gotta deal with that but other than that i will see you next time and we will begin chapter four I'm guessing Husher is going to die, or is dead, but maybe he might make it out alive, I don't know, but yeah, I will see you next time, and man, I'm getting through this game, until then, <laughs> goodbye.